So what I was saying before, yeah, yeah. I got cut out. And then you can talk about Diva really quick before we start. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Mm-hmm. I said that I believe that the role of Tank Buster should no longer yeah. exist in the game. So Hanzo, Echo, Reaper yeah. should be completely worked over either damage number wise or from the ground up because Hanzo, Hanzo's like used as like a very heavy tank buster slash shield breaker. Echo is just the ultimate, just fuck you. I'm blowing you up, death machine. And I, I think Super said in history when he watched this back like originally yeah. last week that mm-hmm. Echo felt like was dominating these lobbies. Yeah. And Reaper, Reaper, I'm a little yeah. bit okay with because I'm honestly not that scared of Reaper. But the problem with Reaper is with his life steal is it's almost yeah. impossible to one v one him. And it's yeah. like you're cons like even on like live, right? Like you're typically yeah. like you have two options. You're fighting the Reaper because you're confident you can kill him, or you're basically just like stalling and stalling and trying to get away from him to try to get help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that it's makes- like mm-hmm. if you stall him out long enough, he'll he'll lose because like he has to overextend too far. He doesn't heal himself up enough. His teammates will kill him. Your teammates yeah. will kill him, you know. And I I don't like that mm-hmm. aspect of of like it's impossible to win the duel. Yeah. Um just because he'll heal himself off my high health mm-hmm. pool. On two it, tanks, it makes sense, but not one. It's tough to say, though, because, like, I, th- <laughs> I think for them, when... Uh, and then th- this is the reason why I don't think they'll readjust it. Is, and I remember I'm wrong. It's mainly because, like, they, they want to add that, like, kind of idea of, okay, there's a tank on the field, and you want you like play, like you want to play DPS, and, like, who can kill the tank? And I think they, they want to do that. Maybe, the, but the, I think what they could definitely do is reduce, like, fire. damage on, like, Echo, for example. Like, maybe don't let Echo be able to do the beam till 30%, right? So, like, it's more, like, kind of, like, toning down how they do the tank busting more mm-hmm. than, like, absolutely get rid of it. Because then you still might run into the issue where Ryan might be able to hold shield the whole time and, like, just sit there. So, like, it's, like, I think they want to kind of find, I think finding the in-between of that would be really key. Mm-hmm. So, like, don't let Echo beam at 50%, maybe, like, 30%, right? Like against like tank like thirty percent because the problem right now is that once they are at fifty percent damage you know a tank is just gonna die right yeah and that's not including the amount of damage they do in general so yes I think I I, I agree with that Echo definitely should be toned down a little bit when that when it comes to that like uh, in Overwatch too it's just I mean I guess I I get what you're saying though but like but they could just do they could just reduce damage and still allow for Reaper to go and kill tanks right because mm-hmm. like you said they said like when you play against Reaper. Um, when when you when you go against Reaper, you you don't you you don't like oh you don't like as scared when you play against Reaper, right? Mm-hmm. Because you can still survive it. So in theory, you can still do that in 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 Overwatch too. But if they reduce some of the numbers a little bit, then they can still have the ability to do that if your healer decides not to heal you, right? But it's, right. but you know they they can have that in between where like okay they make a good play and that it's good, right? R- rather than just like well even if your the end is there you're just dead. Yeah, that makes sense. And they can find that in between. But somebody said in the AMA they talked about nerfing Echo Beam and um, Storm somebody Arrow. Somebody asked my he... question about that in the AMA. Oh, did they? Yeah. Okay. So, in theory, you know, they still could keep some of that damage there, but just just nerfing the damage down a little bit. Because if they're still going to, if, if the idea is you want to kill the tank, you know, you can just go into those 1v1s and it's become 1v1s anyway, so they're not going to need the over-the-top damage anyway when they can still kind of give a little bit of that damage to the tank. I mean, mm-hmm. against the tank, that is. So it's... I hope that made sense. What I was trying to say, it's like you know, it does. They could probably keep the idea of that, so that way, like when like somebody goes into the, into the game, they're like, okay, I'm gonna play Reaper because I, I got to get on the tank. But then at the same time, there's a little bit more survivability for the tank now because of the idea that there's one less tank. Sure, right. I'm okay with yeah. the people like Reaper yeah. actually. But like Hanzo, Hanzo, and Echo though, yeah. absolutely. Well, that makes sense. I mean, go. if they're gonna nerf that burst damage, that's fine because yeah. Hanzo can still win the one v one duels <laughs> against DPS, and then there's a little bit less damage coming on the tanks and like the shields. So that way, you can mm-hmm. have a little bit more value. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Which, by the way, let's let's take a second and be like, the dude, I, this yeah. is a good thing. Like, you know, we talked about it. Like, you know, a lot of us got to talk last week um, mm-hmm. with, uh, you know, some members from Blizz. And yep. that was a good thing. And they did this AMA after. And, mm-hmm. you know, like they're outreaching to us, you know, whether it's creators or or, 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 or the community and doing these things. That's a very, very good thing. Like, it feels oh, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, we're being talked to again. And, you know, a lot of people are kind of have a sour taste in their mouth from the past, you know, whatever it might be. They didn't like certain patches. They didn't like certain way things were done or they didn't like being talked to as much. I want to like I want to say that please don't lift. Don't look this gift horse in the mouth. You know, like I want to I'd rather keep encouraging that this kind of stuff happens more AMAs 
whether it's, you know, or rushing players, whether it's content creators, whether it's, you know, Reddit forums, whatever it's, you know, whether they give us like almost like a Nintendo style direct where they want to talk to us and give us videos and like talk about what they're working on. Those are all very, very good things, you know, random um, statement to that. Yeah, I can't wait to like be able to play all the Zeldas now that they're reworking them. <laughs> I, 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 I've wanted to play Zelda on stream with my dad for a while, like just as like a fun thing occasionally. Mm -hmm. And now like most of the Zeldas are remade and on Switch. Yeah. So I can actually just stream it on like, like I don't have to like go get like, you know, like in like a different version. So like. I just, I just just random keep completely random there. Uh, no, I feel you. You're good. You're just good, dude. Direct, I thought of like them announcing like Zelda recently. I'm like, oh, OK, but no, yeah. I, what you're saying with that. um, Yeah, I mean, communication is uh, very good. Um, mm -hmm. I, 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 I definitely have enjoyed being able to at least communicate a little bit more about this stuff because mm -hmm. before it was like there was just you weren't getting that. So. Mm -hmm. It's why um, doing these are worth it now, you know, talking about it and be like, hey, like, you yeah, know, yeah. I like oh, this, yeah. didn't like this. Maybe we could change this. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to look at like I'm trying to see like, OK, I'm, I'm seeing this. It's like, you know, maybe, I, you know, one thing I'm going to say about this and I'm at a minute, by the way, if you haven't put it there. I'm still in a minute, um, yeah. Is like one thing I do want to say is that when we watch this map specifically, keep in mind that the players have no idea how this map plays for the most part. Mm -hmm. So the way it plays sometimes is going to be a little bit different than when we watched Havana and Dorado. Yep. Because we've played Dorado for five years. We played Havana for like, what, three years now? We've got so many strats on how to play so Dorado perfectly. We understand how the maps play a lot more. So when we see the newer maps, you probably won't, these maps won't be played to like, these maps won't be played really well for, I mean, maybe six months for like the teams that are practicing yeah. it a lot yep. in scrims because they're going to practice a lot of these maps in scrims mm -hmm. to a year uh even just in rank you're going to actually find a on. good tech on this yep. map but you'll see it later it's actually yeah. really oh, cool absolutely so the way the mass play is gonna be a little bit different you can probably see kind of like how you know there's the way that a lot of like uh controls play now are so different than they used to be played and you see you saw that as like time went on but anyway we're, we're going on to yeah. one uh, you can do the countdown here, and I'm, I'm, I'm going right. to explain this here. So I'm going to pause at one point, okay? So we're ready, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, now. Okay. So watch this play by uh, Super here. Okay. Keep in mind, defense meters has increased now. Watch this. Yep, three seconds now. Watch, watch, watch. Three Just seconds. deletes the rhyme. Holy. Watch. Pause now. Oh, okay. So that right there, when teams play together, D.Va gets a ton of value. Like, as you saw right there with that three-second DM. Can we do that one more time, Light Chain? <laughs> My head, I was on the wrong scene. Oh, God. Okay, go back to one minute. I'll, I'm there. You, okay. If you want to just talk, I'll just show it again. I'll just no, show it again on minute. my end. Go to one minute at the same time. Right, I, I went back minute. already. And yeah, I'm ready. Chuck ready. Three, two, one, now. Yep. <clears throat> so, we see, we see him kill the Ryan. Ryan goes down early. Probably took damage elsewhere. Now, watch this. Three seconds to DM. It's, it's, that's a lot yep. of DM. And now we can pause. So... Yep. That right there is where you might see, like, D.Va get really good value in that solo tank because, like, it, I guarantee you if there's a Zarya there, right, with that Rhine, D.Va's dead. Yes. D.Va won't survive that. But what we see there, and don't get me wrong, it, it, right now, to be honest with you, if D.Va goes against, against Sombra in this comp, it, it, Super would be in spawn right now. Yes. Right? And that's where, obviously, they need to look into how Sombra's played. But, for example, right there, that right there shows you the value of DM now when it's increased to three seconds. Mm hmm Right? So the idea you said you said how is that how much value was that DM? It ate a ton of damage, but it was mostly all to bail himself out. Well, I mean, still ate a bunch of damage and was able to get back. Now has built has survived with mech, has given the supports the ability to build up their support ultimates now, right? And then obviously it's a little bit different with the healing right now because I think the out of the out of combat thing still exists. So I actually think Super would have been healed for a bit more, if I'm correct. Because and actually that makes me curious now to see if they, I'm actually curious would they have kept up Ryan. Because then there's mm. there less healing well, in I combat right now in this version. Yes, but I think then if they're going to take that away, they're then going yeah. to nerf all the supports by 25% instead. So yeah, so anyway, like, I, 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 I'd say, like, you can see the value of DM on three seconds, which I, I was concerned about how three seconds would be, and I'm still concerned about certain heroes, but we got to see the value there. Able to survive against a whole team, get out, play with their team, and they got the tank kill, right? So now I'm curious to see how the rest of the fight goes. So I'm, where, I'm at 114, by the way. I'm at 114 <laughs> as well. I'm ready, ready? whenever. Three, two, one, now. Yep. So it has that has a lot has a decent amount of DM left, and they're able to win the fight off of that. So you can see where Diva's able to at least do that part of it, like able to main tank there. I mean, mm -hmm. super essentially play that like a main tank. Yeah. That was that was basically the way you would want to play as a main tank. Now they're typing to each other. Um, now they're back here, but like 
once again, I don't even know how to, I don't even know where they're on the map. I have no clue what I'm watching on this. So it's like, I'm, I'm learning as, as, they, as they go too. This is the first time, I think the spawn is around yep. the corner over there. So that right there is what happens though with the current heal they have. And if you're out of position as D.Va, which we've seen twice now. Mm -hmm. And that's, once again, Finally the the part where I've been concerned about with D.Va as a solo tank is... This. I mean, I guess it's... Okay, well that, I... I respect it. Yeah. I respect it. You know what, I respect it. Why not? Why not, right? Yeah, true, why not? Hey, hey give it a yeah. shot, I guess. We got to see how the spawn run back is. Yeah, <laughs> a second time. Yep. Apparently, by the way, the audio thing is a bug. Uh, you know, we're not okay. hearing the audio right now. Okay, okay. but sure. have you heard the death sound yet, by the way? Listen no, when teammates die. Do you hear it? Diva can definitely brawl in teamfights. Okay, that is one thing I've seen so far, is D.Va can definitely brawl in teamfights. I think D.Va's very good at 1v1s in this. Oh, definitely. Oh, 100%. I think D.Va, as like a solo tank of this, would be very good at 1v1s. Uh -oh. It's more about if you can survive the initial there it is. time. It's well, what happened? Pick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whenever, when a teammate dies, though, listen, listen for the sound. You'll hear it. Oh, I hear your stance like that. Do you hear it? It's the yeah, yeah. um, it's the PVE noise. You know what I mean? When yeah, teammates yeah. die, they might yeah. change it. I think, but that's kind of nice. They give you an idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. So so far, what I'm seeing though is this feels a little bit more like it's a death match. Yes. Where like, but this is this part of the map. We were seeing more team fights than, like that early part. So it's like, so far, Diva definitely can play in that death match style a bit because the target focus is hard to get on Diva in general. Because if you spend so much time on D.Va, you're probably dead. So I think, like, at least so far, D.Va seems pretty okay. We're back, Captain. And I say that because I, I say I say okay because I'm not sure how D.Va would be over, like, a long period of time of people playing against D.Va a ton. Especially, like, with Sombra, for example. But what I'm watching here is that in this, like, kind of deathmatch brawl style, they're not going for D.Va as much because there's so much happening across the board that they're kind of, like, not target-focused and you're seeing D.Va kind of survive a lot longer and get kills there. So I can see D.Va being really good in the brawl comps um, mm -hmm. if they're not focusing the D.Va. But once again, that's in that initial burst there. Yeah. A lot can change right here. We now have Zen. They have Sombra. They have Zen. They have Ball. So we'll see. Both teams actually have Sombra Ball. Not Ball, sorry. Sombra, yeah. is, uh, uh, Sombra Tracer. Yeah, they have Sombra Tracer and Sombra Zen, too. So... Super's gonna take about as much damage as you can possibly take soon. Mm -hmm. um, because there's gonna be a bunch of increased damage. See, this is. I wanna point what this is. Right now. First of all, this reminds me very much of Gibraltar on the bottom part there. <laughs> Second of all, uh, um, Super had no idea where he's going there. Yeah, no. The, 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 you see the, the scaffolding? Match. They actually yeah, yeah. learned very quickly that they could parkour over that if they, like, crouch oh, jumped. Nice. And uh, I think you'll see it mostly on attack, but I think Dallas is figuring it out right here. Because, okay. like, they, I think they recognized that just attacking straight on was too tough. Yep. So you see they're going for that high ground there. They're, they're like, doing, yep. like, a crouch jump type of thing, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. You know, the, they're going to fight for the high ground there. But, yeah, definitely your brawls are second fives on that one. I'll answer that shortly. Right. Brig also looks very clunky, in my opinion. Um, without Shield Bash doing CC. You know what I mean? Like, you'll see it later on, I think, more with the ball. Like, they yeah. go to, like, instinctually bash the ball, and then it just, like, doesn't yep. do anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Ball doesn't get CC'd as much in that comp, as you can tell. Mm -hmm. But as we've seen so far, a lot of it's been a lot of, like, deathmatch stuff. Yeah, it's almost all been deathmatch. Yeah. So far. Now this is gonna happen. This is come out of spawn. Look at that DM. I mean, even with even like that is like something that I expect Diva to get DMEC there immediately, and Diva's not getting DMEC in this fight. That that extra DM time actually is definitely strong mm -hmm. um, for surviving like that type of fight. But once again, I don't know how the game's gonna be across the map with that. So it's interesting because I actually think when I was looking when I was looking at Diva 
generally, it did look like D.Va was a little bit weak, but very good at 1v1-ing. Yeah. Um, so in the deathmatch style, she's very good. Um, but yeah. if it's not a deathmatch style, then that's what gonna I'm saying, suffer. Like, mm -hmm. like, you know, if, if her style is deathmatch brawl, but team coordinated yeah. brawl is, you know, say something else, yeah. like maybe Ryan, mm -hmm. is D.Va just losing out? You know? Yep. Yeah, I mean, right here, like, Diva's... This is where they start to target focus Diva a little bit more, as you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Which I was saying, when Diva isn't getting, like, focused, then Diva's popping off. So, like, we saw right there, like, Super wasn't able to do anything against it. Obviously, I mean, most most heroes in the game won't be able to do anything against the Brig Elton. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that was... I mean, that's... So far, what I've seen from Diva, like, my initial thoughts on Diva is... Seems okay. Yeah. Rally's actually so really far. nerfed, because it's no is longer it? armor. Oh. It's overheal. Oh, true, true. Yeah, so far, like, I mean, Diva seems okay. I mean, that's that's, that's literally my, my so far. I think Diva's okay. This is okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As like as like a uh, at least as a soul take right now. I mean, this is keep in mind first impression. We can see way more, and Diva can get absolutely rolled in every single game, right? Right. But I'm looking at the heroes they're running, and no one like right now. If I play Diva against that, I would be. Like that, see that right there? That's what it would look like most of the time. Yeah. I would literally be out of mech back in spawn. So, like, I'm looking at the comp they're running, and I'm going, oh, wow, that's going to be a lot happening. Because I see Brig and Zen and Sombra, and I'm like, oh, oh, wow. But then I'm, you know, not too pet. So, it's interesting you say that. I honestly thought yeah. Diva was weak when I first looked at it. Mm -hmm. um, when I first, first looked at it, watching Super yeah. get demected in like two seconds was funny. Yeah. Um, so, well, I, was, I mean, I'm, I can tell you why that happened. That was just. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get DMAC like that. I get DMAC like that, yeah. yeah. Well, once again, I say okay. I don't, I'm don't. i not saying like, oh my god, you know, Solo Tank Diva's amazing. I'm just saying like, if you look at the comps they're running. So I can't put that as the title. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But you see the comp yeah. they're running though? Like, it's like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. it, 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 in theory, the, the, I can see the value of the free second DM. I have a couple thoughts nice, that they nice get add maybe, but yeah. Oh yeah. Now they're on a defense. Now this is where you would know a lot about how Ryan is here. Yeah, I think the double fire strike is pretty cool. Uh, don't Keep in mind, they didn't, run, they didn't run Echo either against Diva, which yeah. I think Diva would get. I think it's going to be very comfortable. <laughs> so. Yeah, Echo makes Ryan go boom. Mm hmm. I mean, I think Echo's going to do that with pretty much everything. Except maybe Hawk. Yes, agree. And a well a well played well, Zarya. Well, time is. I guess yep. he th super thought the same thing. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think this is probably the only tank right now that I can think of. Don't get me wrong. I think there's a chance where... Because you can't play Orisa right now. Right. Right? Yeah. I think this is what he was mostly talking about when he was like referring to like playing the game and stuff like that. Yeah. Like Echo kind of just running the lobby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That still does so much damage, dude. Oh god, that's just that's just painful. Yeah. The cop dude, the copy, like. Okay, so I wanna say one thing watching this now. If if they were playing Echo against Diva, mm -hmm. I think Diva would have been Diva. You think so? Mm-hmm. Why mm. is that? Ah, maybe not. Because you could DM a lot of the damage from Echo. But 50%, I, I, I want to say, I don't know. It's tough to say. I, I need to see D.Va against uh, Echo. I think Hog is a good, a good example. I think Hog is too base, too tanky on me. I, I've been saying this for forever. I am a Hog hater. I do not like Hog. I think Hog is almost 99% of the time way too tanky of a of a hero on his own like you know what i mean like there's ways to counteract it but like the amount of of damage mitigation they've given him he gives less old charge now he heals himself for 300 like and he takes reduced damage during that of course he has a one-shot ability like he has so many tools in his kit and they don't work around anyone but hawk they really don't but all these other heroes, they're good at enabling their teammates or enabling themselves. I think that, honestly, either, you know, you change Hog to be a little bit of a more of an enabler and take away a little bit of his heals, or you got to make a lot of these other tanks 
um, more, what's the word? I don't want to say self-sufficient, but I want to like I want to say almost more tanky, you know? Because like I think for, like they're both running. Well, they were both running ball for a while. Well, like, this is what I was talking about with the, yeah, this is cool. The, I like that. You know, using yeah. the map a little bit better to their advantage. That's cool tech. Um, you know, ball is a good example. Of pretty tanky. Just has a lot of HP and with E and good movement and can run around and get health packs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like I don't see Ryan. I don't see Diva. I don't see current of Sigma. Rissa probably would be fine just because she's just so tanky on her own. Yeah. Um, I don't see Zarya. I don't see a lot of those heroes being able to thrive in, in what's mm -hmm. what's what happening right now. Like, I think the only ones that can do it are Hog, uh, <coughs> Hog Ball, and you know, uh, Diva didn't look like terrible there, but I don't think it looked that strong either. Yeah. Um, and I, I I don't know. Like, I, I think Tog as a baseline for survivability. It should like it be looked at either you know and bringing everybody up to his level or bringing him down to everyone else's level and, and well, making mean, make him more useful yeah it's, it's it's tough to say because i mean do you enjoy playing hog uh well that's the thing i that's actually that's a great point when hog is on in the game no yeah. one's having fun but the hog player the teammates aren't having fun because they have a hog the enemy team's not having fun because they're getting one shot by a hog it's just annoying to kill Mm -hmm. The only person having fun is the hog player, and I think if you get if you have an entire game full of heroes that the only person having fun with that hero in the game is the person playing it, you just create kind of a bad environment, you know? Like it becomes kind of like a, an oppressive, you know, like, like 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 a good example is like Echo, like or even Brig, right? Like Brig was oppressive to Tracer players when she first came out, right? Never mind oppressive to like everybody, just because like she was so strong. But especially like Brig play, uh, Tracer players. Tracer was unplayable because Brig existed, right? Um, you see, there's the, there's the shield bash. They, they tried to stun him, but couldn't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't work. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I just I think Hog is such a selfish hero uh, in a in a team coordinated game that you know him having as much survivability as he does without having any other you know. Help, teammate help um, or like damage mitigation or etc like it just makes it so the only person having fun is the hog player and the person who's playing against the hog who's getting hooked isn't having fun um, the only time the hog player is not having fun is if the, the hero Ana is picked so what do you do to because you know that's why I've been trying to like figure out things I could do with stuff like what would you do to make hog more um, actually, let me. I'm gonna pause this now because it just ended on the map. Yeah. Like, I mean, just summarize that what I saw, and I, 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 I'll say this: Diva seemed okay against the comp that they were playing against. Mm -hmm. Um, I would, I'd be, I'd be, I'm definitely curious to see how they play against Echo or uh, against Echo or something like that in general right now. But you know, Diva was okay, and I'm sure that like I have, I mean, I'm not sure what they said about like Diva, but Diva seemed okay. I think Diva was, mm -hmm. yeah, like okay there. I, I, I didn't. I will, will 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 Diva be amazing to play as like a solo tank there? I, I'm not quite sure yet. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think Diva looked okay there in that comp. You know what happens? You know when they bring back Sigma uh, to these play tests that we're watching, right? Mm -hmm. Will Sigma still be strong? You know what will Diva do then? Type of stuff. Um, but overall, I'd say yeah. I mean, Diva looked okay. Just, that, yep, that's what I saw. So, definitely a couple of things I could work on. But I mean, it's tough to say with Hog because how do you even rebalance? Um, um like how do you like how do you how do i how do i put it how do you what would you change about hog like what is there they would do with to, to roadhog where roadhog would be more team-based to you you know do you, <laughs> remember what i said you, earlier about two but um about one shots mm -hmm. not being in the game i hog falls into that category so like i think that widow being one i think widow i think i i could maybe make an exception <laughs> for Widow being full charge, maybe doing 200 yeah. or 250 headshot, right? Um, and, and the reason for that is because, like, one shots aren't fun to play against, you know? They're just not, mm -hmm. especially a hit scan one shot. Like, Hanzo one shot, um, I'd say is arguably not as strong, um, just because hitting that projectile shot is a little bit tougher than point click shoot, um, and things just explode across the map. Even with the range nerf, the range nerf is nothing anymore. Plus, they re they rebuffed her range again, or something like something happened, or 
I don't know, like, it, it, there's not, like, the range nerf doesn't really do anything anymore, to be honest with you. Um, so, like, I don't know, like, if you think about, like, there's a lot of, like, the flex DPS heroes are just useless in a lot of ways, you know, like, uh, other than Hanzo, I think, like, Doom's not really that good right now, Junk's really not that good right now, Genji's really not that good right now, um, who else, who am I missing right now? Uh, I don't think off the top of my head, what other, Fair, Fair is okay, but, like, not many people play her, um, you know, at a high level, because hit scan is so strong. Uh, Echo's pretty good. Echo, I say, is the other good flex DPS. It's Echo and Hanzo. Um, but they're good because of their tank busting, brought like exploding capabilities, which, again, aren't fun for 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 anybody really. Like they just like, they just make people just go boom. So how would you balance Hog? You know, if you if you're gonna see that faint same philosophy of removing one shots. I don't know. I wonder if you can give him a trap ability. Like when he throws his hook out, it's like you know, like um, you know, like a ball and chain type of thing, where like it almost like it roots them. You know, when you get rooted in a game and you can't move. Oh, I'm, I I know how that is. Yep. I wonder if you could do something more along those lines. Like you'd root them for one second or two seconds or something like that. Um, but something different, and it's, and if to to take away one shotting. You know what I mean? Like, if you watch Super come out on Hog on his attack, the first thing he does, both on Dorado and this one, is he immediately just goes for the hook one tap. You know what I mean? And it's like, starting a fight with that pick is so strong. You know what I mean? But it's like, that's his only value. It's kind of like, all or nothing. And I just, I don't know. I, it's not, I don't think it's good for the person who's receiving the hook. I also don't think that, you know, having to rely on that's not really like that high, you know, it's like high risk, high reward. Um, but not in the same way of what I think good high risk high reward is. Like I think good high risk high reward is Ryan Pin. You know what I mean? Like Ryan Pin, like you have to sacrifice yourself. Like you sacrifice positioning. You're vulnerable while you're doing it. Hog is just like you just yeet a hook and you try to you know go for something after you pick. Um, and then especially like the way he makes space is just being threatening offensively. So like, how would you make him, you know, more team oriented? But That's like, a tough what, question. Hey, like, but like, in, 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 maybe this is my opinion. Like, you, you, one of the ideas you added was like basically giving him a junk rat trap, mm -hmm. like with his hook. But then would they, that person would probably just get one shot anyway? They well, get him it in would situation. require follow up. Well, yeah, but they would probably get one shot. So the same, like for the <coughs> most part, it would part. have counterplay though. You know, like it would have counterplay because instead of pulling them out of position, right? Like, for example, if I hook someone off high ground, right? I'm pulling them into my team. They're going to get 5v1'd and boomed. But if you if you root somebody on high ground, yes, they're going to be vulnerable, but, you know, but, like, there's still opportunities to save them or to help them. You know what I mean? Like, if there's a shield, if there's defense matrix, if there's, um, you know, if enough healing can come out really quickly. You know what I mean? Like, whatever it is, there's at least some counterplay. There's not really much counterplay to hook. The things that counterplay to hook there are defense matrix and sleep dart slash anti-nade, right? Um, yeah. especially with so many CCs but being removed. I, I think like the, 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 and, and maybe this is just with me with, with, with the, what they're doing with, with hog in general is like, they, they don't want it to be a requirement for every single tank to have to do that type of, mm -hmm. I guess, style that they don't want every tank to have the same style. So like to them, I think that the vision is like the same thing with wrecking ball is you have to play even with wrecking ball, believe it or not, you have to play a little bit more selfishly with how you play. Um, that's what I had to learn with wrecking ball is that like ball is more you have to play it more selfish and play around the map i mean you could do things though to hog to make him have less survivability while also helping his team which would give him mm -hmm. more incentive to be with his team for example this is a completely random thing i'm coming up with because i don't even you know I'm, I'm let's pretend that you give hog an aoe to his his damage reduction that does does less damage reduction to himself now but does 25 percent to people around him for the mm -hmm. with that timing with a longer cooldown and right. then he also has a hook that does less damage on his, on his combo so he still hooks him into the team for value but you have to follow up mm -hmm. there right there you added some tankiness has less survivability because it's, it's, it's less reduction and his team he'll want to be with his team more to be able to help him there if not he'll just get rolled mm -hmm. and now you've done that but i don't know if they're going to change that much with hog you can just do the they, opposite even too like bring everybody up to his survivability level you know like hog is so tanky with like his e which one he already passively gives less ult charge Two, he takes less damage incoming while he heals. 
and three or fifty percent less damage when he heals or when it's coming. And three, and he heals himself for three hundred HP. You know, that's a lot of survivability. You know what I mean? In selfish survivability. But that, that's like the whole design around. That's what I think. That's like the problem is that's what they. It's kind of how they just they want the hero to be is they want it so like there's did you you kind of have that. The the problem right now is that he's able to, like you said, survive. Mm -hmm. A lot of his survivability comes from that fifty percent damage reduction while moving. Right, like if you look at like original Hog, you would you would be able to heal. And I, I don't remember what, if there was damage reduction on the heal. No, there you wasn't. Couldn't you couldn't move while healing. Yep. So there's things they've done with Hog initially where they probably had that same concern, and but Hog became tankier um, as. Uh, Road Roadhog became tankier as Overwatch progressed because there was so much damage in the game that they had to make Roadhog tankier because otherwise Roadhog was essentially you. you there wasn't much value being had on Hog, right? right? Mm -hmm. There just wasn't. So they had to make Hog tankier to kind of base it around on what we see with his, um, with what what's currently in Overwatch. Overwatch right now, and every and obviously every you know every you know. The way that each rank plays is different. The way everything plays is, you know, different across the board, right? So mm -hmm. it, it's one of those things where I think the way ho the Hogs version now is because of what's currently happening in Overwatch One. So I wouldn't doubt it if they make changes to Hog, right? Um, yeah, I mean that could work too. Someone mentioned like you, you know, having it so like when he hails, it has. Remember when they did that thing with Moira, where Moira would like, um like fade and then she would be able to like get her teammates out of stuff oh my god the Remember team that? fade that was the most broken yeah. thing i've ever seen it was but i'm saying the concept you could have with hog is you make his heal like his his aoe heal have less tankiness to him but more support to his team or you could just remove tank. his tankiness from the, with the heal someone said yeah in the chat. I, well i think what will happen is when you i mean in theory yes you could just have the damage reduction but yeah, I mean, there's things you could definitely do, but I don't, I don't know where they're going to go with that yet. I haven't even mm -hmm. read, have they talked about in the AMA what they want to do with Hog? Like, I don't know, like, I think, like, I get what you're saying with a lot of the one-shot abilities and things like that, but yeah. I don't know. It's, my guess is they won't do anything about that now, mm -hmm. and I think it's one of those things that we won't get into that discussion about Roadhog and other, like, one-shot heroes and stuff like that until the beta. And the reason yeah. why I say that is because there just isn't enough information yeah. that we know about this game right now to be like, yeah, you gotta get rid of that right now. Agree. Like, it, it's, it's, don't get me wrong. Like, obviously, like, you know, I, I, I don't like, you know, going into Havana and getting one shot, right? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I, I, we, I at least need to see in the beta version of what it would be like, where you'd be like, okay, now I see it with Hog. I'm seeing what's happening. Do that. But yep. it, it's good to talk about, you know, the ideas of maybe, maybe stuff like that. But I think like there just isn't enough. Like, I don't know how anything's playing across the board. So it's like, and yep. I mean, I don't play too much Hog right now. So, but yeah, I mean, Hawk can get certain value right now, but then you can also, you know, ha, pfft, next thing we know, every single Hog in the game is getting slept by Anna and then just dying immediately, even mm -hmm. with the survivability. Because they just keep Echo the same way. You just nade Roadhog, and then Roadhog's dead. Yeah. Even if Anna dies on the hook, they just throw nade, and then Roadhog's dead. Or they just, you know, readjust, like, the, the one-shot again, like they did before, right? Mm -hmm. Where it was harder to get the one-shot, and it was more RNG. I don't think that's the play. I think it's, you want to keep more consistent, but... There's things they could do with that. It, you know, it's just, I don't know yet what they would, you know what I mean? I just don't know like, specifically what you would do with that yet. But if you wanted to go down the route of, okay, make, make Roadhog more of a tank and have more team play, then you would probably just adjust it around what you do with your heal. Yeah. No, I agree. Exactly suggest to make it like maybe like an AOE, you know, I don't know if they would do AOE healing necessarily, um, but like an AOE, something that has an effect, uh, effectiveness to it, kind of like Zarya Bubbles, where they get rid of like, you know, they can reduce. They can get rid of like Discord on somebody if you, or they can get rid of Purple. Maybe Roadhog can help do that. Maybe not to himself, right? Maybe you can't. Even, maybe Roadhog can't even remove Purple from himself, but can help a teammate with that. Yeah. And you give a little bit more value, where it's it's like it's like it almost incentivizes to be with your team because your value also helps your team with those games. Um, but that still won't stop the play style. There's gonna be players yeah. who just want to go around and go for solo hooks and do whatever they want. Right? Well, I hope I hope that's yeah. the, well. The concern is I hope that's not the ideal yeah. play style. I hope mm -hmm. that that's not what we're, we're aiming at. Like, is Roadhog the standard tank like now? Like, they used to be Ryan, right? Is Roadhog yeah. now the new era uh, standard tank because they want it to be more DPSy? You know what I mean? I, honestly, I don't think so. But I only say that because I think that my guess is that when we start to see more of the heroes being added to the game, 
or more of, you know, if Echo's being played, say they don't nerf Echo, for example, then I don't think we'll see Hog be the go-to because I think there'll be too much... I, I think no matter what, people are going to want to go Hog and just kind of go on the flank. Right? right? Mm -hmm. like, I, I, don't think, I don't think that's going to change. So, but I don't think that you'll see that as, like, the go-to tank because I think... I've talked about it before with the solo tank experience is going to be a lot different than the tank experience now when you play Hog. Because right now when you, play, when you play Hog in general, it's, you can kind of just get out of team fights and just go for those plays because the other tank is there. But now when Hog is the only tank, you, the play style is still good, right? In theory. But I don't think you're going to see Hogs be able to kind of just run it down mid outside of initial first team fights. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of what we saw even with like Super went hog there. Super kind of popped off a bit on the first initial team fights, but as the fights kind of slowed down, it was tough to get any value. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, we were watching, you know, like, you know, they, they know exactly what to do to counter a hog. Right. Right. So it's, it's one of those things where I, I don't know specifically what you would do to hog yet. I think I have to, we have to see how it plays out with every single hero being able to be played and what they do with the changes they're going to make to example for maybe storm arrow on hanzo and damage me with echo and then when you start to see okay is hog dominating every single rank game right then you go okay there's a change that can be made which is why hopefully there's a beta to it right right and you can kind of look at that and we you know people will be able to go in there and just lock hog and then you might see people lock hog and you they might go holy crap hog is getting rolled right and next thing you know, they're going to buff Hog because Hog's getting rolled. I think I the think only way will. Hog gets rolled is if the damage numbers stay the, stay the same and he mm -hmm. gets rolled by, like, on a nade slash, like, the threat of those. But overall, damage those damage numbers need to come down, period. Well, that's, well, that's the thing is that's, we, that's what I'm saying about that. And then Hog will be like, way I, too tanky at that point. Well, so exactly, he's already then, a problem. Yeah, so I think that's when you get the discussion on those type of changes because we just don't have that. Say, say they reduce damage, like, you know, on all the tank busters by 30%, and Soldier has 18 damage now instead of 20, then, yeah, I think you, you like, look at Hog and go, uh, okay, you know, time to make adjustments. But right now, with, like, even Hog now in ranked, um, in general, or even Hog, like, you, you, I, I don't think you would be, like, I, I can see what you're saying with that. Actually, you know, I get what you're saying, but I don't think until we see the actual damage numbers where you can be, like, okay, just, you know, once if they nerf damage, then yeah, I think Hog will probably have to be readjusted a little bit. Um, I mean, even t if you're in talking about like yeah. current patch Overwatch, I think the one reason Hog isn't dominate is because double shield. That's it. Like double yeah, shield I mean, keeps Hog in check. I mean, double shield is definitely good against that, but that's also why. Like, I also think we need, still need to see Arissa because yes. th here's the thing, and th this is at least my opinion, and that's why I was mentioning we need to see all the heroes play because Arissa is a good example of a he she can like the way she plays now. If you just do, if you just take Hog and take Arissa. Who's going to win that, like, overall team battle? The Arissa, every time. The Arissa, because, uh, yeah, exactly. Arissa has the shield, but then Arissa has the pull, has the gold, has the ability to put that pressure on Hog to eventually have to use the heal. So, I'm not saying that Arissa's Arissa's gonna win winning one. most of those duels, though, right now. Yeah, she's going to play range, too, right? Yeah. My point is that we don't even know how Arissa's going to be yet. So, if they bring in Arissa and like, hey, Arissa has no shield now, and she does damage, then you might be like, oh, well, Hog's going to dominate, right? Mm -hmm. Not that I'm saying you're gonna she win that like I'm not saying that Hog or excuse me, I'm not saying that Arissa wins the 1v1 consistently. I'm saying Arissa keeps Hog more like I guess at bay in those fights. So where Hog won't be able to go get that full value because you can play that distance with Arissa and use the pull to kind of disrupt Hog's plays. Like you can disrupt a hook with just literally a pull. So it's once again, I think the idea of talking about Hog and maybe readjustments with the playstyle is something you can talk about, but I think we still need to see what they have in store with the, all the heroes there, then kind of go, okay, you know what? Yeah. Now Hog needs to be changed. I think that's something we for sure can talk about with that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So like the idea is like, ah, I get that. And it's also like, got a, I know this, we've gotten a whole thing about it. Yeah. But it's cool to talk about both sides of it too, right? Because <laughs> it's like, then you kind of get an idea of like, you know, probably what they're, dis they're discussing with that too, with Hog. Because I'm sure they want to do something. Was there anything in the AMA with Hog, by the way? Out of curiosity? Don't believe so. It's more tanks in general. Uh, and supports overall. I don't think there was really anything about Hog. Okay, I was just wondering. And like, like I said, like that's the thing. And keep in mind, on top of all of that, if there is new tanks, those tanks could absolutely dominate Hog, and then we're going to be in a whole different discussion. Yeah, we'll, so, see, we'll see. We'll see. Exactly. Doomfist so, uh, yeah. beats up Hog now. Is that, yeah. the, is that the title? Doomfist tank beats Hog. 
I mean, that, that's the thing. It's like, we, we just don't know. And I think that's, the, mark, that's the tough part with at least those changes. Yeah. Um, but I know, I know what you're saying with one shots. Obviously, like, it's just, and then obviously the play style is going to be about just kind of going for flanks, but I, it's going to be just kind of seeing what the damage numbers are. Once we know the damage numbers, that's going to be a lot easier to figure out how to balance the tanks. Um, that's going to be the biggest thing. Damage numbers. Once we know damage numbers, once we know how the supports are working, then we're going to know how the tanks are going to survive because tanks are going to be, the tanks are going to survive based off of, one, obviously, the abilities they have. Two, how much damage is in the game. Three, and uh, actually, honestly, so I heard supports are really strong, too, in a lot of their, their tests, right? They said they're so, even stronger. Yeah, exactly. How strong the supports are and how much damage there is. If there's a lot of damage, if there's a lot of damage and the supports are really strong, Hog may not even be as good as we think it is because just Hog won't have to be able... Hog won't be able to get to spots mm -hmm. even before the, the fights happen. If there's reduced damage and supports do less healing... Then we look at Hog and go, okay, I think Hog can be changed around a bit. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah, that's my opinion, of course. I, 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 that's the thing is, it's, it's, you know, we don't have to like, yeah, even like agree on that. You know what I mean? It's just like, right. Or like kind no, of. I, no, I do agree with that, you on that. It's just, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I, I, my, my concern lies elsewhere with like, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. is Hog the standard? Is Hog is currently too tanky? If you lower DPS, you have to lower Hog survivability. If you don't want to lower Hog survivability, you need to bring everybody else's survivability much higher. I think we you know that you know the first concern probably will be tanks dominating. No, everybody want to pick. Everybody want an Orion on their team. Well, I think I think lower ranks is going to have that anyways, no matter what. Well, that's what I mean. I think that's probably something they're looking at right now. Is that it's not? It's more. It's more along the lines of I think more people are probably, at least in my opinion, looking at like they're probably looking at ryan and going how are we going to make it so not everybody and like it just goes across all ranks is going can we get a ryan can we get a ryan can somebody go ryan because mm -hmm. that's like the most like that's the play style that a lot of that just a lot of people are used to so that's going to be probably their first thing and that's maybe why we haven't seen too much with ryan yet but once again we're not going to even know that until like this is just until playing it yeah kind of <laughs> like that's like i think that's why i think that's what the oh, beta will be him. key for a lot i think the beta will be key for a lot of this it'll it'll very very much be key because i know that once the beta is out it's gonna be it's gonna be played a lot and people are gonna really start to mm -hmm. figure out what isn't strong what 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 um all that stuff so yep uh there's gonna be a lot there too i'm sure they're gonna get a lot of feedback somebody just mentioned that in the chat like, it's gonna be a lot of feedback and i think oh that's yeah we're when... gonna have essays and <laughs> essays and youtube videos and youtube videos. my guess is this when the beta does come out and we have no idea when that's coming out yeah one thing's gonna happen you don't there's gonna pretend? be you don't wanna pretend like we know oh yeah like, oh yeah the beta like, yeah no. yeah yeah should we like should we like do something yeah like signal? one thing i will say is that when the beta comes out there there is going to be the beta there's going to be a couple patches and there's going to be the live release of overwatch 2 yeah. where those patch notes are going to be crazy because they're going to probably take a bunch of stuff that they have from that and and, and change it around mm -hmm. um with that and we've seen that before with like even like overwatch and stuff like that like you might see some like a lot of number changes and stuff uh once they get more of that yeah i'm curious to see yeah overall same. so far what i watched i it's the same thing we've what we've talked about i i just want to see more of it because we I need more see, we need more I, exactly so far i mean this map specifically diva looks okay diva looked okay on dorado when they played diva for a bit winston looked fun i think winston looked fantastic but what's gonna happen when we watch winston? another map Hog. <laughs> absolutely i'm not doing Good. this shit again i'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing this. but i think you know we'll see yeah, that was that was awesome. I, I really I enjoyed being you know, able to talk about this. I don't normally talk too much about this. It's normally my thing. Yeah, I mean I Oh, you know me. I could go for days talking about just about anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna drag you out of here little by little. I'm gonna keep pulling you in here. Oh, I don't have a problem doing it. Like, I just like I said, like it's like the other day, you know, I was like, Oh my thirty first rank game of the day. I just like you know. Yeah, I, know. Bring, I don't know. Bring, how you the do heat, it. bring the energy one game at a time, so I end up just like not doing some of that stuff. Yeah, but every game you bring the energy one game at a time, how how the fuck are you gonna have any energy at the end? Like one game at a time. <laughs> Do you think they reset MMR? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. No. I don't think so. I don't. I don't... <laughs> here's my okay. Here's my take on why they won't reset MMR. They might do like a soft reset, which I think is a like. <laughs> they. I mean, in theory, they could. Have, they. I, I don't know if they'll do it. They could. Do like take. Maybe to the Apex system. Well, Takei should be back. You know what I got in a game today? I was yeah. I was on my DPS account, 
Yeah. I was like, I think it was like a 3,900 game or so. Mm -hmm. And two people were talking and he was like, yeah, dude, I'm just hopping on for my 25 games to uh, get top 500. I haven't really played the game in eight months. Yeah. And someone doing the other team was like, nice, dude. Like, this is actually my first time playing in about six. Mm -hmm. I was like, They're just hopping on, farming top 500 and getting off. Yep. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I would say that I've I've always said that I think that when you come back to the game, you could there definitely should be some in there because people could take well, people will take like I feel bad could almost because sometimes people will take like you know they're like oh I, you know I I didn't play for a year and they come back and they're like getting right into the games yep. right. Forgiven says, "Are you get me playing support and jumping out of your lamp?" I mean, see, I mean, yeah, that's why I don't play. That's actually honestly why I don't play too much uh, tanker. I mean, uh, d DPS or support because my hidden MMR on on those are like forty four hundred. That's why I play DPS saw. on a different account. Oh, I played my DPS placements flats probably like four seasons ago. I went four and one because Reaper was meta for that meta for like a week. Yeah, I remember that. But I was getting into like forty five hundred games as DPS, and I was like, oh, that was funny. This is, I was like, this is not. I'm I'm like, wow. Yeah, I still went four and one, but like, I I just like I think I had like games where I had like insane supports that kept me alive. Yeah, right. But like, yeah, um. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where it, you know I I I don't think they'll have a uh, an MMR reset. And I'll explain why in one second. I agree. <sighs> I agree though. I agree with that though. I uh, no, sorry. Like I, I think that they, they, they could try the Apex style though at the beginning. So like what Apex does is that they reset you down the tiers. So when the game comes out, in theory, they could do that because that the my concern is that they do like a full MMR reset and everybody's coming back to Overwatch too. Um to play it. And a bunch of people are coming back to not everybody, obviously, but new players, people are coming back or trying it out. Their experience and ranked may not be the They'd have, they would have to either delay the season, which they might do, to be honest with you, when Overwatch 2 comes out. They might just delay the rank season for like a month. Um, or two, uh, they could do, definitely do the Apex style, where they, they, they kind of like bring you down. Like they could just do like a certain amount of SR down and then you yes. have to climb back up. Kind of like what we do right now where we climb up from 3900. Yes. Um, the problem is that the, the thing is that Apex is a little bit different with it. They don't have a hidden MMR. Mm -hmm. Overwatch does. So for example, people go... Oh, you start at 3900 SR, but yeah, but they leave you at your MMR. You're still in 4300 games. Yeah. They just, they don't get rid of your hit at MMR. So that's why beginning of the season <laughs> sucks if you finish high. Like, I think Yeetle every season, he finishes like, you know, in like 45, high 45, high or low 46 or something like that, depending on like, and you get, balls you get meta. insane lobby right away. And he goes yeah. like 3 and 20 at the beginning of the season because he's like 4,700 mm -hmm. in like 4,300 games, 4,400 games. And like, yep. those are treated like top 10 games. Like, you need to be carrying, popping the fuck off. You know, but, but everybody's 3,900. Everyone's just moseying along, like, oh, just finishing my placements game. <laughs> well, you know? Yeah, everybody. I mean, that's what you do because you get you the first five games, you literally. I mean, you you literally will play Star Nine Hundred. Yeah. Um. It probably the the first five placements at, the, at, at in Star Nine Hundred are actually fun because everybody's just like, oh yeah, I'm just it, I'm gonna be Star Nine Hundred. Remember we could stack during those. That was a good time. Remember we stacked that one time and then they got rid of stacking right away. It's one of my highest viewed YouTube videos yeah. ever. One of my first ones yeah. ever. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I don't. I, I when it comes to MMR resets, I, I don't think they'll do an MMR reset for MMR. Re I, yeah, I, MMR reset. I, I think, think they'll do the something. I think they will do something. Mm -hmm. I think, but it will be more to like kind of drop everybody's SR down a bit mm -hmm. and or maybe they at least are hitting MMR down and then let people climb up a bit and then it will kind of it will like even out after a while. Said a new cat like tower, yeah. A reference. That's why I was late today. I was uh, Yeah. Oh, like the cat exactly. fortress? Yeah, you got a yeah, cat yeah. fortress. Yeah, cuz I was building that. I I, I went a lot longer than I thought. It took me a bit cuz I couldn't get the there's like two little parts of the cat tower like where he's in right now and like below it and you have to kind of guess where the screw goes. Like you put the screw and then you have to find it, but you can't like align it you have to kind of get it in like kind of get it like the screw like in there and then go and i i, I spent 45 minutes sully's jumping on the cat tower as i'm doing it like it was impossible so it took me a lot longer but yeah i don't see the um yeah i don't see there being an mmr, MMR reset like like a complete like wipe of everybody back down to like the beginning i don't i don't see that happen i they could delay the the, the, the season though i wouldn't doubt if they delay the rank season at the beginning because um there's gonna be a lot of new stuff in the game in general and i imagine they'll probably wait a little bit um, before they even start that. So that gives them a little bit of time to see how they want to do it. Then maybe they'll get a general idea of like 
how many people are playing and then kind of how they want to do it, how many new accounts and new players in general. <laughs> they can make that decision then. I'd like to see longer seasons again. Depends. Are they going to do content like kind of how they would, kind of like how we've seen now with games? I think they will. That's yeah, my guess. To. That's a, this. <laughs> so yes, longer seasons if they do that. From our mm-hmm. mistakes. Yep, it, exactly. And that's so, the key. Mm-hmm. You already saw the, be- the like quote unquote leak that loot boxes are gone. Well, I, ma- I, I kind of almost expected that. Yeah, I think everyone did. Or at least... It's probably going to go to a different style for sure. Well, I mean, I don't think it's really that hidden knowledge. There was like tweets back in yeah. like last year from high-level Blizzard executives that were talking about wanting all of their games to go free-to-play model. What are you like, talking about when they had... The, it, was the, it was the investor and they said... The investor yes. meeting and they said they wanted... The investor meeting, be, they said they wanted, to move they wanted all every game to go to under the war zone model. Yes. They wanted everything to be under the war zone model eventually, yeah. yes. I think that, oh, no, that I mean, flew under the radar, but like that's been public yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I talked about it quite a bit on stream when it, was, when it, when it happened, too. I was like, yeah, they, they, they definitely are... They, they, they literally said, we want all our games to be under like, the war zone, war zone style eventually, which war zone's free to play with, with all that stuff. I mean, once again, I have no idea if they will do that in general. Oh, hello. Hi. He just got up from his nap uh, in the cat fortress. But um, but yeah, no, I, I think for the new seasons, if they made it back to 90 days and did kind of I, I don't I'm, I'm, I'm only re- even why I reference Apex when I talk about this is because it's, like, it's the one I've recently played. Apex has a system where they have 90 day seasons and you go, wow, mm-hmm. that's a long season. But they have a um, they have what they call the, the rank split yep. where they will three forty five. They days. will reset your you they reset your rank down a couple tiers and then you climb back up. I think it's also one and a like, half. They also add content or they change the map. They change the map, um, add content, new yep. uh, here, balance. balance changes too. Yep. One thing that uh, Overwatch does have going for them with balance changes a lot of times is they can just do like the experimentals quickly too. So you mm-hmm. can get a little bit more balance changes in between. So yeah, I, would exp- I, I wouldn't doubt it if they do like longer seasons, but with more like content in between. Oh, hi, what's going on, buddy? Boy. Um, I wouldn't doubt it if they do like longer seasons. But that's going to be kind of a wait and see. It, it's so hard to tell. I mean, we're, we're at the point now where um, we probably won't. My guess is that it's what? When, when, December's in like, what, a month and a half? So we'll probably see. Half, a, yeah. my, my guess is, and this is where you what? See a couple more things. And I know they don't they go on like a, a pretty like uh, they go on like a like, a, like almost like a month long vacation during then. And then much. we'll probably start start seeing more stuff towards the end of January, and then we'll have a better idea probably on more things with that stuff. Maybe. Mm-hmm. That's a guess. And we the, the, the PVE still is there. Yeah, PVE too. <laughs> They're very quiet about PVE stuff, which honestly I'm okay. Well, it's with. different. It's different teams, is my guess, <laughs> with who's working on PVE. Like they're not like they're having like the PVP team, you know, work on the PVE stuff. Right. I'm PVE actually. I'm really yeah, excited. I mean, I think it'll be great. I mean, I, I mean, I like PVE, so for me, it's like I'm looking forward to that a little bit. Mm-hmm. You want to come up on the chair, buddy? I know you want to come up. Come here, buddy. He's just saying hi. Uh, so. Feel that. Hello. <clears throat> you want the chair, buddy? So, but yeah, I am. I'm starting to get to the point where I'm getting a bit sleepy. I'm, my eyes are literally closing as. <laughs> as so we I go. think I might start uh, heading to bed. Here okay. Chat, I'm gonna do cool the same. With everybody. Okay. Sounds good. I will talk to you tomorrow. Flash, All right, right, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow for some that was games. Fun. Yeah. Later, dude. See you later. All right, chat. I'm fucking wiped. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been like, ha- I've been fighting to stay awake at this point. For those who don't know, it's 1.30 in the morning. Normally, that's not too late, but I've been going to sleep a little bit earlier recently. Snack, thanks for the tier one. Appreciate it, dude. Coconut Growly, sorry I missed your tier one earlier for four months. Wacko, thanks for your tier one for ten months. Shala Days, thanks for tier one for three months. Sorry if I missed any of those earlier. I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, I wanted to get this in really quick because I've been really trying to get Emong to talk a little more because I know Emong is a very much more respected and influential figure in the overwatch community than i am i'm still working on it growing working my way in but especially with the old guard uh and i know emong and i are relying on a lot of things get him to react and talk about overwatch too and you know with a lot of the good things of us hearing stuff from uh blizz team and you know stuff like that like i think it's an important time for us to come together and you know start to start to talk and and come up with the best uh, solutions that we can come up with, you know? So, 